Hi guys, and welcome to another Rumble Slam video. Um, as you may notice, I have no opponent today. <laughs> so what's going on? Uh, well, this one's been filmed during the COVID lockdown. Um, so obviously during COVID, I've been playing um, against my son and my daughter, uh, but today um, I really want to get Royal Rumble going. So this is a 10, um, 10 wrestler tournament, okay? Uh, all gonna be against each other. Um, so you can do this at home if you've got enough. Um, you can even do it with the start box guys. Um, I deliberately left out the <laughs> weight three people. Probably do a weight three Rumble Slam uh, Royal Rumble at a later point. Um, however, so what I've done, I've literally got all of the cards. They will be indicated randomly as to which one is going to start. There will be a preset order. Uh, you could be playing for an unlimited amount of rounds until we have one wrestler standing. Okay, so we have, uh, what I've done, I've created target cards. So uh, basically these will be, once the wrestler is activated, they will randomly draw or be dealt a target card, which is any one of the 10 guys all right, in the ring. Obviously they draw themselves, they'll be redrawn. All right, uh, they will then basically go after that one wrestler try and basically duke him, get him out of the ring, or her, because we've got Gertha playing, let's not forget the ladies. And um, obviously at the end of that, we'll see who's left. So uh, we've rolled four random selections to where they were going to start, um, and uh, we'll show you that in a minute. And then we will get started with round one. So I hope you enjoy the Royal Rumble. Uh, feel free to do it yourself. Obviously lockdown's gonna be here for a while longer yet, I guess. Uh, so if you can't get out and you've got some guys, even if, as I say, it's humans and the goblins or whatever from your starter set, just do the randomness. It's great fun, man, great fun. And all you need is a printer. Or just write the names down and put a number next to them. If you've got a D10, roll a D10. There you go, there's the target. Easy as peas. Right, okay, so uh, we'll get cracking and uh, enjoy. And uh, will your choice of wrestler win? Only watching will find out. Well, unless you're clever and you skip to the end, but try and watch it, please. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe uh, because obviously I'm doing my best under these lockdown situations to bring you video content. So uh, if you do like Rumble Slam, do subscribe. We are currently the main active channel supporting this game and I am not paid or affiliated with TT Combat. Although if they want to get in touch and send me some free stuff, don't mind, I'll advertise them, not a problem. Right, okay, so enjoy, and uh, enough of me waffling. I'm getting as bad as the guy from Gorilla Miniatures. Okay, let's get going. Okay then, so in the green corner we have um, the following. We have Squirm there, okay? He's actually in the ring with his brother, um, Kid Chaos, and uh, he's in the green corner, along with Botticelli. And then behind them we have the Greek in the blue corner. We have Marrow Hack Job, okay, and Gertha. Not normally seen together, those two. Um, but uh, for this one, they are starting in the blue corner. We then have in the central part of the, uh, of the ring, we have the Trojan. Very menacing looking guy there. And uh, then, unfortunately, we've got the back. So we'll just span, pan round. We have Baxter, and we have the dreaded Chuck. And then, in the yellow corner, we have the Thespian and Squirm's brother, Claw. Okay, no one actually rolled the red corner, so the red corner is currently empty. Uh, 10 wrestlers, and they're all about to get the smack down. So let's uh, get going with round one. Okay then, so round one, who will be the first wrestler to activate in round one? Let's have a look, and the answer to that is... It's the Fespian, and the Fespian's target for round one is going to be... Botticelli, can he get there? Let's have a look. So, um, he's got four actions and five movement. So, his first action will be to climb the turnbuckle. Uh, his second action will be um, to jump off the turnbuckle, which is two AP, and he can go five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's three gone. And then he's got um, five movement left and only one action. So one, two, three, four, five. 
back five, he's going to get to there. Um, and he's going to uh, try and uh, give Botticelli a little bit of a slap. So he is a gold and silver. He can't do any special moves, he's run out of uh, stuff. And he gets two. Okay, so Botticelli. Um, so he may re-roll all failed defence rolls. Okay, so he's got two gold. And uh, he easily does it, but seven versus two is a five. That is a, uh, a reversal. Uh, so activation ends immediately. Uh, the Thespian, having jumped and run all the way over there, takes one damage and is shoved two. Um, and he's going to shove him back to where he came from. Okay, so uh, the Thespian has gone. Okay, the next fighter to activate is Chuck. Okay, so Chuck, his target, his target is going to be Gertha. Okay, so he's going to be fighting Gertha. So Chuck has four actions and four movements. So um, he's quite central in the ring at the minute, so he's going to struggle to get all the way across there, I think. Um, Let's have a quick look at what he can do. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get there with his movement. So he's going to run three this way. One, two, three. Bounce off the rope. One, two, three. Um, and then he's going to move just to there. And that's going to be him, him done. Can't do anything more than that, really. Um, he could do his crowd pleaser. Um, is it going to benefit him, though? Um, Well, it will do actually because he can in turn uh, force one of the others to move closer to him so this could uh, actually come off here but he's got the heel rule so he's going to need a boo uh, but he doesn't get it so uh, that's uh, that's his turnover the next is the trojan okay so the trojan's going next and he will be targeting Uh-oh, he is targeting Chuck. Okay, so he's to target Chuck. So this is going to be a little bit closer because uh, Chuck, unfortunately, has moved within range of the Trojan. So um, the Trojan, he's going to pick Chuck, obviously, to use his special uh, rule. And ding, 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 ding. Chuck's defense is double silver. Um, so he's just going to choose the blind option because it's the only one really that uh, benefits him. This wrestler's highest defence dice becomes a C dice. So um, he's got two silvers, so he's going to have a silver and a copper. Um, so the Trojan is actually going to jump around him for three, bounce off the rope and try and hit him, which is then two silver and a copper. Um, and unless he tries his javelin, which he's possibly going to do... Yeah, he's going to, that's three AP. No, he's just going to do normal rope attack. So, uh, he gets a two. Uh, Chuck is now silver and copper. And gets a four, so nothing there. Uh, the Trojan's going to bounce back off the rope again and try that once more. This time scoring four. And Chuck scores four as well. So the Trojan's getting a bit frustrated by this, so he's going to bounce again. Uh, four versus one. So he does one damage against Chuck this time. And uh, he's going to try it once more. Lots of uh, rope bouncing going on. Uh, three and three. So no massive harm there. Um, but uh, Chuck taking some damage. Okay, the next one up is Botticelli. And he is going to be fighting against... Can't fight against himself, so we'll draw again. And he's got to try and get to Marrow Hack. So he's got to try and get across to Marrow Hack. So Marrow Hack's all the way over there. Can't get to the turnbuckle at the minute, but he does have five movements. So he's going to go one, two to there, one AP to bounce off the ropes, one, two, three, four, five. So he's still got two, three movement left. 
which is enough to get him to Marrowhack, uh, but not enough to do any rope damage. Um, so he is going to, let's have a look. He's going to try his spinning suplex, which is 3 AP. Uh, this will be him having one go. It is a grapple attack, which is a silver and copper. And this will be against uh, Marrow Hack, who is three silver. So a bit of a gamble. Uh, two. Can Marrow Hack reverse it uh, with a total of six? He does. Um, and activation ends immediately. So Botticelli's run all the way across there, um, but uh, hasn't been able to deal with Marahak. Right, the next wrestler is the Greek. So the Greek, nicely positioned by the green turnbuckle, is going to be targeting uh, the Trojan all the way over the other side of the ring. So um, how's he going to get there? Let's have a think. So he's going to bounce off the rope for one. One, two, three, four, five, which will get him to there. Uh, one, two, three, we'll get him over to there. Um, and he's got three actions left. Um, da, 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 da. Okay, so he's going to try and do Hell Hold, which is two silver. And this is a, a grapple attack against the Trojan. So two silver versus two silver. Uh, the Trojan gets, uh, sorry, the Greek gets three. The Trojan in response only gets the one. So Hellhold does two damage on the Trojan. Uh, but more importantly, if successful, the wrestler is reduced to naught movement until the attacking wrestler moves or takes any damage. So uh, his movement is naught um, until the Greek uh, takes any damage or moves himself. Okay, so he's out of movement. Uh, the Trojan is two damage down, uh, but the Greek still has one attack left, so he's going to just do a normal attack against him now. Uh, scores one, and the Trojan responds by defending the attack. Okay, so that's the first five wrestlers done in round one. Okay, so next one is going to be Squirm. So, what's big congregation over by the blue turnbuckle at the minute, but let's see uh, see what Squirm is doing. So Squirm is after the Fespian. Okay, so uh, he's going to go two to there and bounce off the ropes straight into the Fespian, because why wouldn't you? Um, and he's going to do the clothesline from hell. Okay, so that is a three silver attack. Uh, which scores four, decent result. Um, the Thespian is defense two silver and doesn't get it. So um, the Cloves line from hell. So this does two damage on the Thespian. So Thespian's now taken three damage total. And um, when rolling the uh, grab, uh, so it does knock down. Oh, yeah, so he's down. And um, throw one. So he's literally going to just pick him up and plonk him there. Right, okay, so he's done the clothesline from hell, which was three, and he's bounced off, so that is him done. Uh, but the thespian is in trouble. Will any of the others be able to get him out of the ring? Let's see, as he is knocked down. So uh, the next one is Marrow Hack Job. Okay, so he's nicely positioned, especially if he gets one of those cards over in that corner. Uh, could be some serious damage coming up um, because he really doesn't like uh, anybody being near him. Um, and most importantly, he's got to try and get to the Thespian. So the important thing is, can he get there? And I don't think he realistically can. Um, so he's effectively going to be moving away. Um, from, which is a bit of a shame, uh, as everybody next to him and uh, Gertha would have uh, had to fight him anyway due to his special rule. So let's just see if he can actually get there. He's only got movement of four, so I don't think he's going to be able to. So he's going to go dodge round Botticelli. One, two, three, uh, one, two, 
three, four. He's going to bounce off the ropes. One, two, three, four, five. So he's going to get himself nice and central. Um, and his crowd pleaser isn't going to do anything. So uh, that's the end of uh, him. So Claw has been very quiet. It's now Claw's turn. Um, see who Claw decides to pick on. And the claw is also going for the Fespian. So, uh, whilst this is completely random, it does look like it's uh, targeting one of the poorer players here. He's down on the ground already, so let's see what movement he's got. He's got four movement. One, two, three, four. He's not going to be able to get there that way. Uh, one, two, three, four. Not going to get there that way either. Um, and no point climbing the turnbuckle. So, uh, he's just going to move central. One, two, three, four. Uh, he's going to try his um, he's going to try his um, crowd pleaser. Definitely try that because it will permanently change the attack of the Celtic Claw to two gold plus one. So uh, he's going to try and see if he can get that. Remember, he needs a boo because he's uh, not very popular. This guy and uh, he doesn't get it. So that's the end of him. And we're on to Gertha. So Gertha had been waiting quietly over in the corner there. And she's got to try and get to Marrow Hack Job now. Um, she's not the fastest, she's only three. Um, and that actually potentially is going to save um, Marrow Hack. Um, unless she's got a. Well, she has got a decent range on her turnbuckle. One, two, three, four, five. And she can get there. So um, she's basically going to go one up to there. And then two actions, one, two, three, four, five. So it's uh, land there. Um, she can do this because it's devastating. So even though she's not actually hit Marrow Hack, everybody next to her due to devastating will also take the damage. So um, it's uh, pretty good in, in one respect. So she is on that one with the shield drop, three silver. Looking for a, a big roll here. And she gets and she totally fluffs it with a one. Um, Marrow Hack, three copper. So it is still possible for her to do the damage, but we shall see. And no, nope, um, that's a draw, so nothing there. Uh, so she just lands. Okay, so the last one is Baxter. So uh, finish the round with Baxter. Now he is quite close to the Thespian. So if the Thespian comes up here, he's going to be in trouble. Can't be Baxter, so let's uh, see who Baxter gets. And Baxter is going to draw the Greek. So that is doable. He's got movement four. Um, or we'll say it. no, he's not. He's not going to be able to do it. Uh, he's got nowhere of getting there. Uh, two, three, four. Okay, and uh, let's see what his uh, crowd pleaser does. Um, he's going to try it anyway, so let's uh, let's have a go. He doesn't get it, so that is the end of round one. Okay, so going into round two, um, we will reshuffle the order of the fighters. Okay, so we have the new order. So we have Claw, then Squirm, Mara Hatjob, the Greek, the Thespian, Chuck, Botticelli, Trojan, Gertha, and Baxter. Okay, so around two. Claw to start. Now they're all very central, so there's going to be some serious damage dished out. And unfortunately for the Thespian, um, he is the target of Claw, first round. So um, the Claw, he is going to go one, two to there and he is uh, let's have a look he's going to try okay so he is going to use his Celtic Claw okay so Claw for 4 AP is going to um, automatically lift his opponent, which is uh, the Thespian, 
and uh, he can immediately throw him for 0 AP to any square in the ring. Um, so he is going to, he's only got range of, what's his range? Three. So that's not necessarily going to help at this stage. So I think he might just actually hit him with his Celtic Claw instead. So he's going to do a crowd pleaser first, see if that comes off, which it does. So now permanently all of his attacks on his Celtic Claw are two gold plus one. Okay, so two gold plus one coming up. Uh, four. And um, the Thespian's defense is five. Do apologize, got a bit excited there. Um, so it was four, uh, which is uh, double damage, uh, or it's, uh, it's a beat down, so it's plus one damage. And the damage of the claw is equal to the attack roll. So effectively that's five damage. So that is the Thespian knocked out. Okay, so the Thespian is knocked out. Okay, so what we do now, now that there's a knocked out opponent, um, the wrestlers have a choice. They can either go for the targeted uh, wrestler that they draw, or they can target any wrestler who is susceptible to being chucked out the ring. Okay, so effectively like an AI. Right, so um, that is Claw done. So it's his uh, brother in crime, squ Squirm, now, um, and he's going for Chuck. Um, now he could go for the Thespian and chuck him, so I think, bearing in mind he's right next to him, it would make sense to um, get rid of um, the, uh, the threat of the Thespian. So it's Grapple plus one, um, he needs, um, so he's weight two, so he's going to need, which he does, to get, um, so the Thespian is picked up, and Squirm is going to, he's got a throw of four, so he doesn't actually have to move, so he's just gonna chuck him from there. And the first casualty uh, of the Royal Rumble is the Thespian. Okay, so that's two AP gone. Um, now, his target was Chuck, so he can still go for Chuck, and he has got the movement to get there. All right, so he's got, um, can't use any of his special abilities, he's only got two uh, action points left, so he's just gonna try a hit. It's silver versus silver. Uh, Squirm gets four. Chuck only gets three. So uh, Chuck takes point of damage. And then with his Alasco, he's going to try again. Four against Chuck's defense of four. So nothing happens there. Okay, so there we have it. Chuck takes some more damage. Right, so uh, we're on to Marahak Job. Let's uh, see who Marahak Job is up against. And and he is going for Chuck. So uh, Marahak Job is, um, let's have a look. Movement four, so he can definitely get there. Can't get to uh, any ropes or anything, um, so he's just going to move in and uh, let's see what his. Uh, doesn't need to do his um, crowd pleaser. So um, I think he's just going to hit uh, Chuck as he gets plus one to his attack. So two silver versus two silver, but Mara Hatchog gets the plus one and scores one. Chuck scores nothing, so uh, straight away Chuck uh, has taken some damage and uh, Mara Hackjob is going to do the same again, this time with a three and Chuck scores five, so nothing there. He's going to try one more and three plus one is four versus two, so another point of damage on Chuck. So Chuck's basically at half health. Um, he's going to try the crowd pleaser to try and uh, off the extra one and uh, not happening and so minus one AP um, the crowd obviously like clowns and didn't like Marahak beating on him right on to the Greek 
So uh, again, they're all sort of quite well congregated there. It's only claw that's uh, away from the bunch at the minute. So, and right, the Greek has drawn Marahak job. So everyone's going after him at the minute. Um, let's have a look and see whether the Greek can get there. I uh, can't get there physically, so he's going to have to do um, two to there, one up onto the turnbuckle, and then he's going to do Spartan's Glory uh, onto Marahak job. So Spartan's Glory is one gold and two silver. And wow, six. Okay, so this is going to hurt. Um, Chuck's, uh, sorry, not Chuck, Marahak job uh, defense is three copper. And he's up against six. So he needs at least three to avoid a beatdown. And he doesn't get it, so he loses by five. So uh, this could uh, spell trouble for Marahak job. Uh, the damage is four based, however. Um, it's an extra damage, which is uh, takes it up to six damage. Sorry, five damage. So uh, two, four, five, and it also does shove two. So he's going to shove him that way into the rope. He comes back out, and the Spartan get uh, the Greek. Sorry, gets a, uh, a free hit, uh, gold, silver, and then the copper from. The rope, uh, scoring four. Defense though of six, so he, he does survive that one. Uh, and that is uh, pretty much it. However, obviously it was a jump off the turnbuckle. So let's see if the crowd like it, they've cheered, uh, which is what he wanted. And um, now, uh, the rest of the permanent gains plus one strength to his attack, defense, grapple, and dex if in base contact with two or more enemy wrestlers. This ability does not stack. Okay, so he's nicely positioned there with his uh, crowd pleaser gone off. Okay, so we've got uh, Marahat Job and Chuck, about half damage. Trojans taking some damage. Other than that, everyone else is pretty healthy. Uh, however, we are now on to Chuck's attack and Chuck is going for Bocicelli. Um, so Chuck is going to go one, two to there, and he's going to bounce off the ropes for one AP, uh, which is two gold plus the copper for the ropes plus one. So this is a fairly decent attack, and uh, scores six plus the one is seven. Uh, Bocicelli is two gold on defense, And actually scores seven, so uh, nothing, nothing given there. Um, so Chuck's going to try it again. Uh, this time scoring five. Botticelli only two, so he can re-roll that one. Still only two, so uh, the rope attack does work. And just a point of damage on Botticelli. And that's two AP gone for Chuck. Um, so, what's he going to do now? Let's have a think. I think he's just going to do the same again. He's going to have one more go at it. Let's see if we can get lucky. Uh, four plus one, five. Five versus three. So it's another another point of damage on Botticelli. And he's going to see if he can do it one more time, which he can. And this time, six scored. And another point of damage on Bocicelli. Okay, so Chuck doing some, uh, putting some damage on uh, Bocicelli. Um, and it's now Bocicelli's go. So it would be interesting here if uh, he gets the return. But uh, let's have a look. But he isn't. He's going after uh, the uh, the Greek. So Botticelli going for the Greek. So his movements is quite a lot actually for a turtle. Uh, five. Um, so he's got an opportunity here to do sh um, his uh, special move. So let's uh, let's do that. I think. 
So just trying to establish that uh, Botticelli can't actually get to his target. Um, so what he's going to do instead, because um, there's n oh no, actually he can get to him. Um, you're just going to have to do that. There we go. He's going to go there, and he's going to try and uh, give the Greek a, a bit of a punch. So he's going to start off with a normal attack. So silver versus silver plus one. Uh, four versus nothing. Uh, well, it goes to one actually, so it avoids the beat down. Uh, but uh, one damage on the Greek. And he's going to do it again. Nothing this time, so automatically he's going to lose. Does he get the beat down? No, he doesn't. Oh, the reversal, sorry. And uh, he's going to try one more. Three versus three, nothing. Okay, so he's only got, uh, he's going to have to roll if he wants to do another one. So what he's actually going to do is. Um, I can't do his crowd pleaser. So yeah, he's just going to roll, see if he can do it. Let's have a look. And uh, the answer to that is... <coughs> so... So it's two silver versus two silver plus one, wasn't it? So three. Oh, it does another duck point. There we go. So it was worthwhile doing after all. Right, on to the Trojan. So, um, Trojan's in a bit of trouble. In fact, uh, because the Greek has taken damage, the Trojan now has got his movement back. So that's not so bad. Um, And he is going for Squirm, which happens to be not far away from him. So uh, the Trojan is going to, let's have a look. He's going to pick his opponent being a Squirm, and he's going to take his highest defense dice down to a Copper. And then he's going to go one, two, three to there, one AP off the ropes. Uh, well, let's see, because he has got a special rope attack, Javelin. Um, it's 3 AP. does cause a knockdown, though, so he's going to go for it. Um, so this will be all of his AP to try and knock him down. And it's uh, 2 silver and a copper versus a silver and a copper. Uh, so five versus three. So it does it. It's two damage. So Squirm takes his first damage of the bout, uh, but he's also knocked down. So if anyone else gets him now for the rest of the round, he's going to potentially be in trouble. So will Gertha and Baxter finish him off? Let's find out. Uh, Gertha is actually going for the Greek, so she's actually next to him at the minute, which is quite good for someone who can't move that far. So she is going to try um, a special grapple attack, which is three silver, and scores a whack in five versus the Greek. And he manages two, so um, it's two damage on the Greek. And minus one AP. Uh, she does have one action left, so she's just going to do a normal attack against him now. Uh, two versus three, so nothing more than that. Okay, and then the last one to finish off the round is Baxter. Which actually it's the second time but he's still not taking any damage Baxter so he's uh, sort of hanging around keeping himself out of trouble he's going for Marahawk um, one two three one two three four round to there we bounce off the rope into him um, and he's going to go for the best in show which will cause a knockdown 
two damage if it comes off. In fact, he's actually just going to do a normal rope attack because it's two silver plus one and uh, the copper for that. So uh, Baxter into Marrow Hack. And that is an absolutely amazing roll. Near enough, as good as you can get. So eight plus one, nine. Nine against Marrow Hack. Uh, Marrow Hack's defense is only three copper, so this could be the end of Marrow Hack. Uh, it does score five, so it's not too bad, uh, but it is a, uh, a beat down of plus one. Um, but uh, it's enough to keep him with one stamina point remaining. However, Baxter still has three AP, so he's going to uh, do the same again. Uh, this time scoring a total of five. And Marrowhack doesn't do it, it's another beatdown, and Marrowhack is knocked out and is prone. Baxter still got two AP left, so Baxter grapple plus uh, gold plus one, trying to pick him up, and he does. And Marrowhack is thrown into the crowd and is the second fighter gone. Okay, so end of round two. And uh, we have lost two fighters. Eight remain. Okay, round three. Um, order uh, is established. The Greek, Trojan, Botticelli, Goethe, Squirm, Baxter, Chuck. Finishing off is uh, the undamaged claw. Will he be undamaged by the time he gets a go? Let's have a look. So uh, we just need to take Marahak out, uh, out of the equation. We will be ready to uh, see what happens. Okay, so we're starting with the Greek. Nicely positioned, but he is suffering minus one AP. Okay, his target is Goethe. So he wants to, does he, uh, can he get so he can't get to her with a rope attack, um, plus he's already lost the uh, the one AP. So he's going to go with um, Hell Hold, and uh, or is he just going to? So he's still got his crowd. His crowd pleaser is permanent. He's got two or more wrestlers next to him. So. Um, He's gaining plus one silver. So he's just going to do a normal attack on there, Goethe, which is two silver. Uh, sorry, two gold. It's a gold and a silver, plus the silver bonus. So he's uh, gold and two silver um, against Goethe, who's not taken any damage so far. So let's uh, see what happens there. And uh, So a total of eight. So it's a good score there. Uh, Goethe is gold and silver plus one and uh, five. So uh, take some damage. And he's going to try. He's now going to do. He's going to do his hell hold, which is uh, two AP. So this will finish off his turn. So he's got three silver now because he's got the bonus. And looking for. Grapple against her, so five. Her grapple is three as well. Uh, does come off, so that's another two damage. And her movement is down to naught until the Greek takes some damage. And uh, the Greek loses his negative to his AP. Okay, so that's the Greek done. And we have only two fighters undamaged so far, which is uh, Baxter and the Claw. So the next one up is Trojan. And he's going after Chuck. So he's quite nicely positioned, the Trojan. So um, he is going to uh, use his blind special bit on to Chuck. And what's he going to do? Is he going to. Let's have a think. He's just going to go and do a rope attack, I think, rather than the. So one, two, off the rope for one AP, and into Chuck. Uh, it's a total of five versus Chuck's defense. Only the one, so it's a beat down, so it's two damage. 
Okay, the truck's only got two left, so uh, the Trojan's going to do that again, bouncing off the rope. Uh, this time it's a four, and it's another one. And one last time. Nothing this time, um, but didn't get the reversal. He does have one action left. Um, and the Trojan is going to climb the turnbuckle and hope that no one pulls his card. It's a bit risky being up there, but it is wrestling. Botticelli next. Botticelli is up against Chuck. So, um, Chuck's only got the one damage left. And Botticelli is going to try and utilise his ability to uh, take him out here. One, two, three. Off the turnbuckle into Botticelli. Sorry, into, uh, into Chuck. So, two silver and a copper for the rope. Uh, five. And uh, Chuck could be in trouble here. He's... Uh, Two silver and he needs five. He doesn't get it, it's four. So uh, Chuck is knocked out and he is down. Now, um, Botticelli's only used one AP, so he's going to try and pick up Chuck and try and chuck the clown into the crowd. And he does, and out he goes. So Chuck has gone. And Chuck is the third wrestler to leave the ring um, so uh, Botticelli still has one left their squirm is on the ground however he is not knocked out so uh, next available target is the Trojan who is on the turnbuckle so unluckily for the term for the uh, Trojan um, Botticelli is going to try and hit him whilst he's up there two silver scores two and uh, the Trojan uh, is fine and fortunately for the Trojan having defended that attack Botticelli has blocked any other attacks on him this round okay so next one up is Goethe let's, uh, let's see who Goethe draws and she's up against the Greek so the Greek currently is at half life uh, he's only got four remaining and Goethe is on her way to try and deal with that however she can't move at the moment um, which isn't a problem because she's actually next to the Greek so the Greek's actually got her in a headlock of some um, a hell hold um, so she's just going to hit him and try and give him some damage and that is a cracking score of 7 the Greek defence is 2 silver plus 1 and manages 4 so avoids the uh, avoids the beat down um, however she now has movement Doesn't really going to help her too much because she's only got three move. Um, so she's uh, she's, she's just going to move round one and then she's going to hit him again. Uh, scoring a three this time uh, versus a three, so nothing. And uh, she's going to do it one more time. Uh, nothing. And then she's going to try her crowd pleaser. So if this comes off, uh, it does. So all of her attacks do plus one damage in the next round. Okay, or until the end of her next activation. So that's her done. So Squirm, currently on the ground, so he's gonna have to get up, but he has survived. And he's going after Gertha. So up he gets. So one to stand up. And he's going to move two. Then he's going to bounce off the ropes. So two silver and a co uh, copper. Or he's going to try his clothesline from hell. Has he got enough? Um, he has. So he's going to go with three silver attack instead with the clothesline. And manages three. It's not great against a defense of three silver. And doesn't do anything. And that is the end of... Uh, that's the end of him. So we're on to Baxter. Baxter's also going after Gertha. So we've uh, got a little bit of a gang up going on. So he's going to go one to there. 
He's then going to try and do the suplex, uh, which is a one gold plus one. So he wants a nice high roll here. And only the one. He needs Gertha to completely uh, fluff this. And uh, she doesn't. And uh, worse than that, she gets the reversal. Yes, she does, and that ends his activation. So that's uh, Baxter done. So it's just Claw left to finish the uh, finish the third round. And he's going for Baxter, if he can get there, that is. He's only got four move. Um, so he's going to go two to there. Bounce off the ropes. One, two, three, four, five. Then one, two to there. That's the end of his move. He's still got uh, three AP left. Um, so, can't do his claw hammer. Uh, so he's just going to do a normal brawl attack. Uh, it does do two damage though, because he's got this claw. Uh, it's gold plus one. So four, decent, decent. And Baxter is three silver. And Baxter survives. So he's going to do it again. Three. And Baxter actually reversals it. And uh, activation ends immediately. So that is the end of a round three into round four and uh, we have a third of the fighters have gone already so the trojan desperate to come out first or at least ahead of botticelli but he doesn't unfortunately he's second to last so here we go claw starts and he's going um, for Botticelli. Can the claw open up the tortoise? Let's have a look. So uh, he's going to head over there and he's going to um, and he's going to actually pick up for 4 AP Botticelli and and a quick look at the situation and he's actually going to throw him at the Greek. Okay, so I'm going to use him as human missile. He will do four damage um, to the enemy wrestler. So um, the Greek needs to, um, dexterity two silver, needs three or more. Otherwise he's going to get hit by Botticelli. And he definitely succeeds in that. Uh, however, Botticelli hits the Greek and lands and takes a damage from being thrown. Okay, that is claw done. The Greek, unbelievably, has drawn claw. So, uh, Obviously, he's just had Botticelli being thrown at him by the claw, and he's going, he's not having any of that. So he's got movement four, one, two, three, four. He's going to bounce off the rope into the undamaged claw. So silver, copper, and gold versus defense, three silver. Um, unless he goes with a big kick, uh, which is two, gold and two copper. He's going to go with gold and two copper. Let's see if he can do that. Um, I think that's probably going to be the best bet. Although, unfortunately, there's no one else nearby. Um, so he's going to try that one. And completely blanks it. That's not good. The claw can potentially get a big reversal here. And uh, it doesn't. And uh, unfortunately, that's probably going to be the end of... Well, that's two AP. He's still got two left, so he's gonna. He's just gonna bounce off the rope this time normally. So, I'm not gonna do his special ability. Uh, gets a four this time, a little bit better, and does damage. So the claw takes his first damage. It's now only Baxter who's uh, completely undamaged, and the. Greek's going to try one more go. 
and decent score there. So if Claw mucks this up, he's could be in trouble. Seven is the attack, and one, so it is, it's six, so it's a uh, swing of six, it's three damage in total, and potential for him to be dazed. So we'll have a and uh, Got a blank, so uh, yep, yeah, he's knocked down and uh, minus one AP and movement. So minus one AP and minus one move. Okay, so that actually was great from uh, the Greek as he's got him, got him down. So both brothers have been on the canvas so far. On to Gertha. She's going after Squirm, who happens to be next to him. Oh, next to her, sorry. One, two, bounce off the rope into him. So she's gone round him. Three silver and a copper, so it's a lot of dice. Um, in fact, she's actually going to do a special move the Dwarven Diva. Dish out three damage if it comes off on three silver. Four. Squirm's defense is only two silver. And he's alright, so that's not so bad. Um, and that was all of her AP gone. She does still have one move left, so she's just going to move away from the edge of the ring. And Botticelli, who'd been thrown earlier in the round. Will he get uh, so he's actually after the Trojan. He can't get to the Trojan, uh, so he can choose an alternative target and has to choose the uh, easiest one for him. And Claw is on the ground, so um, it would make sense for him to try and uh, put some damage on him as he's uh, knocked down. He's got a defense of zero. So uh, two silver attack. Uh, blanked it. Nothing, and try again. Six, uh, so it's plus two damage, so it's three more damage. Um, can't be dazed again, so uh, same round. So he's only got one life left, so it's going to try one more, and another three, that knocks him out. So that is him, KO, as well as knocked down. And Botticelli only has one AP left. So he's actually going to try and just pick him up, silver and a copper, and yes he does. So Botticelli lifts Claw, but hasn't got enough to uh, get rid of him. So on to Squirm. Can't go for himself, going for Goethe. Okay, so he's going to try and pick up Gertha for 4 AP, automatically lifts her and throws her to any square in the ring. And uh, any square in the ring, the obvious thing here, his brother is currently being lifted by Botticelli. So uh, he is going to literally throw him at Botticelli and try and save his brother. And uh, so um, Botticelli, silver plus one, needs three plus to avoid being hit. and does get it just so Gertha takes damage for being thrown and he's gonna leave Gertha next to the ring there and that's squirm done on to the Trojan so the Trojan has managed to survive and he is on the turnbuckle what who is his target going to be and the target is Baxter. Okay, so uh, the Trojan, range of four. One, two, three, four. Can't quite get to uh, Baxter. So, he's going to have no option 
he can't really just stay up there um, so he's going to uh, do as he can't get there he can pick an alternative uh, target because he can't move off either because the uh, the Greek is there um, he will dish out three damage so he's actually going to try and um, put some more damage on Goethe um, those two had a bit of a spat earlier, I seem to recall. So, um, we're going to do the gift horse, uh, which is two silver and a copper. Off the turnbuckle, only manages two. And Gertha's defence is gold and silver plus one. And um, so she ends up with eight. So that's a uh, six. <laughs> so that's a reversal of six. Uh, activation immediately ends and the attack hits him instead. Oh, no. <laughs> so... Um, the Trojan has dived off and um, unfortunately has done three damage to himself as Goethe sticks a leg out and uh, hurts him. Right, so Baxter still, again, the only one not taking any damage. And who will he be after this round? Let's have a look. And can't go for himself. So the next one is Squirm. So Squirm happens to be next to him. So Baxter comes round the back of him. In fact, he's going to try the suplex instead. So this is a grapple attack. Um, so he's going to try his suplex, which is gold plus one versus gold plus one. So if Baxter can get this off. Uh, two versus... Five. Um, so it's not enough for a massive reversal. That's two AP wasted. So he's going to move around and rope attack him instead. Uh, so that is four plus one, five. Five versus two silver. So one damage. And then his last one, he's going to do the same again. Uh, two this time. And not enough. So that is the end of the round. And of round four going into round five, we have six fighters left, plus one being held aloft. Okay, so into round five. We have Trojan to start, then Squirm, then Claw, then Goethe, Botticelli, Baxter, and the Greek. Okay, so Trojan is targeting Goethe, so their spat continues. Um, so the Trojan is going to reduce one of her dice to silver attack, which is a three, uh, versus, is it her highest? Um, right, oh dear, so um, drops Gertha down to a copper and a silver plus one, uh, three. So she does survive it, and he's going to do it again. Three, and that's enough to put some damage on it. <laughs> and another go. Five uh, versus four, so another point of damage. And then for his last AP, he's going to use his crowd pleaser to increase his defense if it comes off, which it doesn't, so he gets minus one AP next turn. Baboo. And then we're on to square. So Squirm is going to go for the Greek. One, two, three, four. And he's going to lift him for all of his AP and send him flying again into Botticelli to try and save his brother. So Botticelli needs to pass his dexterity. He needs a three plus. He's on silver plus one. And he does it again. Um, so this time it's the Greek who's been thrown. So the Greek's got two life points left. And Squirm is done. So Claw is currently knocked out. So he's going to try and wake up and find himself above Botticelli. Uh, yes, he does. So he's not KO anymore, but he can't do anything other than just literally he's just come round. Maybe too late for him. It all depends if anyone else draws uh, a target of him 
more importantly, it's Gertha to go next. So if she gets Botticelli, that might keep him in the fight. Otherwise, Botticelli is next. And uh, Gertha's target is Baxter. Uh, so she's going to get to him. And dish out some damage. Two versus defense of three silver. And she's going to try again. Four this time. Versus four. And again. Two. Versus six. So that's the reversal. That actually ends. And now it's Botticelli's turn. So bear in mind Botticelli has a target above him. Although he's now awake. So Botticelli's target is Gertha. However, first thing he's going to do is try and uh, throw Claw out of the ring. So Claw's going to need to uh, see if he can uh, survive being thrown. So he needs to get Dexterity 3 plus. Uh, Claw has two silver. And he gets it, so uh, Claw lands there. Uh, so that's one AP. Uh, Botticelli now focuses on Gertha. And he's going to try his uh, spinning suplex for his last remaining attempt, which is one silver and a copper. A grapple attack, and uh, three against Gertha's grapple of three silver. She's got an amazing grapple stat. And yeah, nothing happening there. Okay, so Botticelli has, uh, has done. And unbelievably, after five rounds, Baxter is still undamaged and it's him to go next. And he is up against the Greek who only has two life points left. Um, so Baxter is going to go one, two into there. And he's gonna try and take him down. So two silver plus one against two silver plus one. So that is five, six in total versus only three. So it's one damage. That plus one saved him from the beat down. Gonna do it again though. Three. And five. And one last go. Four. Versus five, still nothing. He's going to try and see if the crowd want him to carry on, and they do. Two. Okay, so plenty of punching going on, not enough to do anything. And that is the end of round five. We're going to round six. Okay, round six. Backs to the start. He's going for Botticelli. Okay, so he is going to um, go one to the ropes. And he's going to try and do his special soup, um, best in show, two silver and a copper. And absolutely fluffs it. Um, defense for Botticelli, two gold, five, it's a reversal. Activation ends immediately. One damage on Baxter, that's the first damage he's taken, but also shove two. So you just shove him into the ropes and he comes back. Botticelli gets one. Can Baxter reverse this? So let's have a look. No, he can't. But that's the end of Baxter. So, and Baxter finally takes some damage. On to Gertha. Number of fighters now near the end of their uh, stamina levels. Gertha is after Squirm. Can she get to him? Yes, she can. One, two, three. And she dives in with a three silver attack on him and completely blanks it. Squirm. Uh, four, and ends her activation. So he well and truly survived that. And it's now Squirm's go to fight back. And he wants a bit of Baxter. So he's uh, gone in and up against Baxter. He's going to pick him up and use him as a missile. 
So this is a fairly common tactic for these twins. And um, he's going to target Botticelli. So Botticelli, silver plus one. And does get it. Uh, but Baxter takes more damage. Starting to take the damage now. <coughs> the Greek. Going for Goethe. Um, one, two, three, four. One AP. Jumping up onto the turnbuckle. It's going for Spartan's Glory. Which is a gold and two silver. Needs a nice high roll here. And not overly impressive with a four. Is it enough though? Um, gold, silver plus one. It's not enough with a seven. And unfortunately, that is the end of uh, his action points. On to Botticelli. Seeming to be the target of a lot of attacks at the minute. And he's going after Goethe, who also is suffering from a bit of attraction at the minute. Um, so, Botticelli is going to do a normal attack, two silver. This was two. Gold and silver plus one on defense. Okay, and again, automatically lost it, but can she get a reversal? And she does with a six. Um, and the attack hits him instead. So, point of damage to Botticelli. Got three remaining. On to Claw. Claw is going for her. So, Claw moves one. Uses all of his AP to pick her up, and he is going to target. Um, he is going to target probably Botticelli again. So can he throw her at Botticelli? And this time Botticelli does get the hit. So Gertha uh, been thrown takes one damage. However, Botticelli takes a whacking four damage which is enough to knock him out and Botticelli is down the revenge Botticelli nearly threw Claw out and now Claw has dealt the blow on Botticelli knocking him out so Trojan, minus one AP, but has the opportunity to chuck. Is technically after Baxter, however Botticelli is down. So he's gonna go one to that, and he's gonna try and pick up Botticelli, who is knocked out. So um, Trojan is a grapple of two silver, and he gets it. Okay, so he is currently holding Botticelli above his head throw three so um one action to pick him up one action to throw him out of the ring off he goes that is botticelli gone so one of the early favorites maybe is out he still has one ap left and his target was baxter so he is going to do a two dice attack on baxter and gets two and Baxter manages to uh, hold on. Okay, so that is the end of the round. Into round seven. Round seven, six wrestlers remain in this epic Royal Rumble. So Baxter to start and he is going for squirm. So he's gonna bounce around and then off the ropes and he's gonna do his best in show. Two silver and a copper. And a three. And it does two damage on Squirm. More importantly, it knocks him down. 
and then Baxter's going to try and finish him off to silver. So four uh, with the plus one is an extra point of damage. Squirm is knocked down and also only got one stamina left. However, it is his brother Claw's go now. And he is going for the Trojan. So, Claw 1 2 up onto the turnbuckle, flying guillotine onto the Trojan. Um, sorry, onto the Greek. That's his target, the Greek. Okay, so he's gone for the flying guillotine, which is. Three silver. In fact, I would only do one damage. We're not going to do that at all because it's uh, he's not very healthy at the minute. So instead, he's actually just going to bounce off the ropes into him. Gold and copper plus one. So four versus the Greek's defense. Three. And that's enough to knock the Greek down. So it's one AP spent so far. Uh, he's going to try and pick him up. So that's uh, two silver, which he does, two AP. Send him out the ring for the third AP, and the Greek has gone. He's got one AP left and movement. And he's turning on his brother. Gold plus one. It's going to be enough to knock him out. And it is, and Squirm is knocked out by his own brother. Who would trust the Chaos Twins? Trojan. Trojan is going for Gertha. One, two, three, four. And he's going to do the javelin off the ropes. Two silver and a copper. And total of five defense. Uh, six, so she's okay. And he's just going to do a normal attack for his last one. And she's fine. Okay, so Gertha's still, well, she's only got two life points left. She's still hanging on in there. She's a tough nut to crack that one. So it's Gertha's a turn, and she's going for Baxter. So she can get there, one, two, to there. Um, she's going to try her attack. So it's silver versus silver. Five versus four. So damage on Baxter. Try again. Three. And that's a beat down, and uh, it's a reversal. Sorry, and that is uh, that done. So unfortunately, she tried to put some damage on Baxter before going for uh, Squirm, and the reversal has meant that Squirm potentially can survive. Needs a cheer. Can he hear the crowd? And he does. Squirm gets back up, and uh, this could be a problem in the next round. So he turns to face his brother. So into round eight we go. Round eight sequence is Claw, Baxter, Gertha, Squirm and Trojan. So Claw, everyone's up so it has to be the target off the card and it's Claw so he can't do that. So the next one is he's going for his brother, he's going for Squirm. He obviously realises that Squirm's got up and isn't going to be happy about this. So. Um, However, Baxter is probably the biggest threat. Um, however, the agility-wise of these superstars, they're likely to uh, survive that. So instead, what he's going to do is he's going to go gold plus one attack on his brother. In fact, he's going to bounce off the ropes. One, two, bounce off the ropes for one AP. Uh, scores are two, not overly great. 
but Squirm fails it. Can't believe his brother's done it to him and knocks him out again. Now Claw, and all he has to do is try and pick his brother up. Is he going to do it? And he does, and flings his brother out of the ring. There can be only one winner, remember? And Claw has made his move. So that is uh, three AP spent. He's got one left, so he can choose who he wants to. Um, and he's going to go for the closest target. He has two movement left, so he's going to go bounce off the ring. Uh, back at Baxter. Put some more damage on Baxter if you can. So that is uh, four in total. Baxter's defense, three silver. Pretty good. Uh, not enough to survive that attack, and he takes one damage. And also, uh, Claw gets to do his crowd pleaser. And um, doesn't come off. Baxter half damaged. He's going after the Trojan. One, two, three, off the ropes. That's a decent score of six. Trojan's defense isn't great. Silver and copper. Five difference, so it's plus one damage. So a total of two. Puts him on one left and shoves him two. Actually, he's going to shove him towards Claw, and then he's going to follow up, and then try and finish off the Trojan. Two silver plus one, three, and it is enough to finish the Trojan off. The Trojan goes down. Okay, so um, two AP have been spent so far. So Baxter's going to try and lift him. Gold plus one. Just needs to score a fist. And he doesn't do it, so he takes one damage. And it's Goethe's turn. She's going for Baxter. Um, so over she goes, three on three, two for Gertha, two for Baxter, she's going again, wowzers, uh, that is seven for Gertha, Baxter only gets four, it's enough to put another point of damage on him, and then one more, this time another six, and this time Baxter fluffs it with, a with only one, so it's a five. So it's two damage, which is enough to knock him out. And Baxter is down. Trojans go. And he does get back up. And that is the end of round eight. Going into round nine. Every chance. Right, okay, so um, that was round eight into round nine. Four wrestlers remain. Trojan to go first, then Gertha, then Claw, then Baxter. Uh, currently Trojan has one stamina left. Gertha two, Claw one, and Baxter none. So uh, we're right in the thick of it. This could well be the last round. Let's see how it plays out. So Trojan is going after Claw. So Trojan is going to move one, two to there, bounce off the rope, and then hit Claw in the back. Uh, two silver and a copper. Uh, scores three. Claw though with three silver defense. Um, blocks it safely but no reversal. Uh, he's going to do it again off the rope for his last go. Off the rope. Five versus seven. So again, no damage. So he's just going to do his normal attack now. And gets a one and not enough and last go four faction point and completely blanks it could be a reversal here not enough to do any damage so Trojan has fluffed his chance to get rid of claw 
Gertha is next. She's going for Baxter. Now she's got a throw of four, so if she can pick him up here, she can send him out of the ring. So three silver, she needs two successes. She gets it. She's picked him up and she doesn't need to move from there and she's going to chuck him that way. And out Baxter goes, he is gone. And she still has one AP left and all of her movement. So she's got a choice of Claw or Trojan. She's going to go for Claw, A, because he's the closest, and B, he's still to activate. So three silver attack. And she scores well. Uh, she's got seven versus the defense of Claw. Seven versus two. That is him down. And knocked out. So can Claw get up? Yes, he does. He gets back up. And that ends his activation into round 10. Okay, round 10. Claw to go first. His target is Gertha. So he's going to immediately pick up Trojan with his chaotic claw. And he's going to throw him at Gertha. So Trojan is going to end up there and takes one damage from being thrown. So that is him knocked out. If Gertha fails to dodge this, she will also be knocked out. Two dexterity silver dice needing three. She gets it just, so she survives the attack. Trojan, can he get back up? No, he doesn't. He stays down. Gertha, who's her target? Gertha could literally get them all here. She's going for Claw. And she's going to do it in style. One, two, one AP to climb the turnbuckle. She is now going to do her shield drop. Which is a three silver attack, causing devastating damage. And gets three. Claw's defense is three silver. And he reverses it with a six. Uh, so nine versus three. It's a reversal of six, which action ultimately ends. And the attack hits Gertha instead, doing two damage, which is enough to knock her out. <laughs> so she's dived off the turnbuckle onto Claw, and he's literally just pole armed her into the floor. And the end of round 10, and the Going into round 11, we will do the round 11. We have two knocked out and currently only Claw standing, but he needs to get them out the ring. Can he do it? The order of the next round is Claw first, then Trojan, then Gertha. He has four action. He can technically pick them both up and chuck them both this round. Who is his first target? First target is Gertha. He needs to grapple her on a... gets two silvers. He does. Picks her up for one. Chucks her for two. Gertha is out. Two actions remain. Gertha gone. Can he get rid of Trojan? Two silver. He needs two successes. He doesn't get it. He's only got one. And that is enough to knock him down. <laughs> He collapses under the weight of Trojan. Can Trojan stand up? Yes, he can. Oh my god. We're going into round 12. And Trojan is now stood. And Claw is on the ground. Literally just didn't have the energy after throwing the Dwarf and Shield Maiden out the ring to pick him up. And the order is Trojan going first. So, can Trojan win the bout fails to pick him up and takes damage and collapses these fighters are absolutely on their last legs can claw stand up yes he can claws back up into the next round after 12 after the, into the 13th round these two are so knackered they can hardly lift each other if claw gets the initiative which he does, it could all be over again. Can Claw finally do it? 
He does. And Trojan is out of the ring. We have our winner and the undisputed Rumble Slam COVID-19 Royal Rumble winner is Claw. Although he had one stamina left and was very, very lucky. So I hope you all enjoyed that. And uh, Claw is the reigning champion. Right then, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, was the winner the one you thought it was going to be? Answers on a postcode in the comments below. Um, so, yeah, if you are um, got nothing to do and you've got some wrestlers, get them in the ring. Uh, nice, easy way to play, even if you can't get to your opponent. Uh, get a Royal Rumble on. As I say, uh, you can play with whatever you've got available. Just have them all working individually. Great little game. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe. And we'll be back with more battle reports or ring reports as, uh, as soon as this lockdown is over. Because I'm starting to get really bored of it now. And I'm running out of videos to upload. So, uh, enjoy. Thank you for watching. If you lasted this long. If you didn't, well, you are not paying any attention anyway to me. So, uh, anyway, see you soon. And um, keep wrestling. <laughs>